G'day guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today I'm going to be going over my round one tips and margin comp and all of that stuff. Um, unfortunately, I do not have any footy cards to open today, but hopefully in other videos I will. I will show you a hit that I got on the while I was gone. This, I traded it with my mate. So there you go, that's the footy cards for this week. But uh, before we get into the tips, we have to go over the margin comp winner for last week and my tips from last week. So, I, for the Melbourne uh, Bulldogs game, I tipped the Bulldogs to win it, but on ESPN tipping, I accidentally tipped Melbourne. So, that was very lucky. Game, I tipped Richmond to beat Carlton. Obviously, that didn't happen. I tipped the Pies to get up against the Saints because I'm biased and got that one right, so that was good. Then I tipped Geelong to beat Essendon, and obviously Geelong thrashed Essendon, so that was another good tip there, even though I only tipped them by four points. Then I tipped Sydney to beat GWS, and I'm pretty sure I got the margin fairly close, but um, it was 20 points. I think I tipped around 17, but yeah, got that one correct as well. And then I tipped Brisbane to beat Port Adelaide, so I uh, got that one correct. Then all I got all the Sunday games incorrect. I tipped... Uh, I tipped... Um, Oh, I've made another mistake. I just realised I've tipped North. I tipped North Melbourne when I actually meant to tip Hawthorne. So really, so I've tipped Hawthorne. I did tip Hawthorne, but on ESPN tipping, I accidentally tipped North. Then uh, I tipped Adelaide in an upset, and obviously Chapman saved the game with that spoil on the line. And then I tipped West Coast to get up, and that didn't happen. So, I got 5 out of 9, um, yeah, so 5 out of 9, if you don't count the Melbourne one that I got, um, right. So, not, it's not a great start, but it's not too bad, I'll take it. So, now, the winner of the margin comp for this week was LJH1145, so he tipped Gold Coast by 7 points, and his punishment was to eat a chilli. With no milk. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually have a chilli. But I do have this chilli sauce that I found in the cupboard. So, this is going to be disgusting. I'm ne I don't really know if I don't like spice. Because I've barely even had spice in my life. But I guess I'll go get the thing and we'll do the punishment. Oh, no. Alright, well, this doesn't look very nice. And it's going to... Oh, no. It's tipping everywhere. But... Oh, it's going everywhere. Oh, it doesn't smell very nice. Ugh! Oh, it's disgusting. Oh! More! Oh. Ah! 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 Mmm! Mmm! I failed. I'm sorry, I failed. Right, hashtag Boo Lenny in the comments. Right, now that I'm all cleaned up, we can uh, get into the tips. So obviously that was not nice. Uh, it was, it was, it was like sweet as well. It was sweet, spicy. It was not nice at all. So, anyways, now we will get into the tips that I'm cleaned up and in a new shirt. I mean, what even is this shirt? I don't even think I've worn it. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyways. So the Thursday night game at Marvel, we've got Carlton taking on the Bulldogs. I definitely do think that Carlton could win this game. They play very impressive against Richmond. But I don't think, I can't see the Bulldogs going 0-2 to start off the season. So I've got the Doggies winning this one by 13. So then the Friday night game, Sydney versus Geelong at the MC, uh, the, not the MCG, the SCG, the Friday night game. I've got Geelong getting up by 14. Could say it's an upset because it is at the SCG, but... um. They play really impressive against Essendon, and yeah, I think um, we should. They should get it up, get the job done. Then on the Saturday at 1:45 at the MCG, we've got Collingwood taking on Adelaide. Both teams were very impressive in round one. Adelaide just couldn't hold on, just couldn't beat Freo uh, because of Chapman's spoil. Um, and then Collingwood got a very impressive win against St Kilda. Because it's at our home ground, I just cannot see Adelaide winning. And I've got us getting up by 28 points. Now, the Twilight game, 435 at Marvel. We've got 
Essendon taking on Brisbane. I've got Brisbane getting up by 28 points, same margin as Collingwood. And yeah, I think the Lions, they play pretty, they play pretty poor actually against Port until that last quarter. They started playing really well and then, um, yeah, I think they should be able to put Essendon away. They, Essendon last week, they played very poor, very poor. So I think Brisbane should get this game done. The first Saturday night game, we've got Port Adelaide taking on Hawthorne at the Adelaide Oval. So this one is Saturday at 7.40. So I have Port Adelaide getting up by only 11 points. I don't rate Port this year. And uh, I only think that they will get up by just the 11 points. Then at 8 o'clock, it's Metricon on the Saturday night as well. We've got Melbourne, ta Melbourne taking on Gold Coast. Now, Gold Coast could win this game because it is at Metricon, but I just don't see it happening. Melbourne are too good of a side. I've got Melbourne winning this one by 56 points. I reckon if it was at the G, they could win by even more, but because it's at uh, Metricon, I've got them getting up by... 56. Then the one tens. Then on Sunday at 110 at Marvel Stadium, we've got North taking on West Coast. I think this is going to be the worst game of the round. It's going to be super boring. And I've got North getting up by nine points. It, it's not much to say. West Coast disappointing against Gold Coast. They really should have won that game. And you could probably say the same about North as well against Hawthorne. But yeah, I've got uh, North getting up by nine points. Then GWS versus Richmond at the MCG, 3.20 Sunday. I've literally got this game as a draw. So, I know you can't actually tip draws on SPN tipping, ESPN tipping. So, I'm just going to, I've got a random footy card here. I'm going to flip it. If it lands it on the Brody Grundy side, then I will tip Richmond on ESPN tipping. But I do think it's going to be a draw. Right, I'll flip it. Right, right, I'll just, I'll just, actually, that didn't However, I catch it there. Right, so I'm tipping GWS on ESPN tipping. I'll just tip them by point because I do think that it will be a draw. Freer versus St Kilda at Optus at 620. Um, obviously, I just St Kilda played very poor against Collingwood, and I cannot see them beating Freo at home at uh, Freo's home ground. So I've got Freo getting up by a comfortable 32 point win. People are probably going to disagree with that, but yeah, I just cannot see the Saints beating Frio at Optus. Anyways, guys, those are my tips. Now, the margin comp for this week is, uh, sorry, the margin comp for this week is GWS versus Richmond. So make sure you comment down a punishment and a margin for the game, and whoever's margin is the closest, they will, um, yeah, they will get the, I'll do their punishment. So. If, I, if it's a draw, I don't have to do a punishment. If I get the margin correct, I don't have to do it. So, anyways, guys, cheers for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.